Hi everyone, Martin here from martinsmayhem.blogspot.com. I hope you are well. So today's card is super Christmassy and quirky and it's kind of inspired by the whole na natural kind of look and traditional, I don't know, but I like it, it's cute. It's using the holly stamp sets, uh, the holly stamp from Christmas Gleaming and the die is from Jolly Christmas, uh, or Jolly something, I'm sure it's something Jolly, 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 what was that? Oh, this is a customer pack, uh, this one, whatever does called, the dies are called Jolly Season Dies, you see them there, tis the season and to be jolly, fa la 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 la, anyway, so, yeah, it's a fun card. Um, I like it. I thought it'd be more natural. That's probably brought through from the colours being real red, the glimmer and the embossing folder that we've used. So, yeah, shall we get started? I like this card. I, I enjoy it, shall we say. Let's move it over. Let's start with our card base. So the card base itself is from cake, and that's just a standard two six size. And we're going to bring in our um, big shot and our embossing folder. What I think it's called wood grain. I'm going to go with wood grain. I'm going to have to find out now. So I'm going to pop that into our embossing folder, like so. And I'm just going to try to make sure it's even. Okay with that. And then pop that in like so. And I'm just using Sizzix's multi-platform. Just the platform itself and tab two. Run that through. Oops, like so. And then popping that out, and you can see there, it's perfectly embossed. Amazing! It's an an amazing. I can't speak. I've lost my words. It's an amazing embossing folder that you just get so much detail from. Just look at that. Imagine this card without that background. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. I don't know why I brought these back in, because I still need the big shot. But this time I'm going to bring my other one. Oh, my older one. Where yeah, I've got tab one and tab two. Rolling this through. Like so. Because I have got a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Which measures eight centimetres by five. And on that, I'm going to take the Tis the Season die and lay that in the center now the die itself you'd want to line up the season um word and try to get that as straight and center as possible because then the tis there is off to one side so that's not going to be if that's center your s your seasons is going to be this way a little bit more does that make sense so the seasons is in the center which is the is okay and then we're going to fill this area with our hollow so we're going to run that through our big shot like so. piece of black there. Now you want to be careful because we want to keep all the little bits that might be stuck here, there and everywhere. So I'm going to pop that down. I'm going to keep that plate because it's got some of the bits we want. Pop that there. And then I'm going to take off our die. And 
Now I'm being so gentle to try to get get this up because I don't want to lose any teeny tiny little bits that there might be. And it's just the tis the or tis that's getting stuff. Right. That should just pop out. Okay, that's stressful. Okay, so that's out. I'm going to get my tumbler. I'm going to flip this round and lay it flat and just add a little bit of tumbler to the back in all the little swirly bits just so we can get these bits adhered down and then just all the way around the edge. Like so, and then to that, we're just going to pop over some of our beautiful glimmer paper that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh no, be gentle, guys. Here's my warning I'll learn from my mistake and then just gently press that down. Like so. Like that. Okay, so that's there, like so. But obviously, we want all our little inserty bits, so it reads right. Now, if, as I said before, you want to try and keep them in here. Okay, and the reason for that is you can just go onto the back, add some adhesive to the areas that you want. Right, I've lost that bit. I have to go in separate. Pop a little bit of cement. I didn't see if I lost that bit as well. It just didn't happen when I made the card. Okay, that's all of the bits that remain. Oh, it is worth saying that this card was actually inspired by another card that I made. Um, and then there was an error on it. Um, I used blends on something else and then I kind of bleached it out so I was a bit moody. And then I was like, I'm never gonna use this card, blah, blah, blah. All this technique because it upset me, but I'm doing it. So this is where you want your take a pick tool because your take a pick tools are very useful. Uh, I'm going to pop some adhesive into the gaps that we have. And we can just pick up our pieces. We must have got some adhesive onto that. And pop that down in the area. This one came from here. This bit came from here. This bit was a little E. And then this. What's the O? Like so. So all you're doing is building that all the way back up. And I've just pulled it and knocked it. That's fine, I can put that. Put 
Okay, what's that true? Right, let's just start by peeling this away. Now, I'm not too fussed about the tis the season because I'm not going to use it on this project, for example. So, we can. Once I get so far, just tear it off. And then start again. Lifting this bit up. Work my way through so that bit's done. Let's try and get the done. It was not this much of a faff before, I promise. Popping this through and over, like so. So that's that bit. And then I've got this A. I can just pop down, hold. I've got the E. Just lift up and pop that through. So now we've just got the S. Just hold that in place while we lift it. And then just pop this side. Hold it down. Tis the season to be jolly. -la 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 -la. There you go. So it wasn't that much hard work. It was a little bit, but it's worth it. So that's just going to be left to dry. Try not to knock it or anything because we don't want to lose any pieces. But I'm just going to, for the sake of a video, I'm just going to pop some dimensionals on the back. Like so. Pop some of the dimensionals on the back. I feel like singing again. More Christmas carols, please. Okay, and then that's going to go in the centre of our card. Like so. And now we need to stamp down our holly leaf. So the holly leaf itself is here. That's going to go away. I did have a piece of this white. Where is it? Yeah. So we're going to colour this in our stamping blends. So with stamping blends, of course, we use our memento ink. So just grab it with a minute ink. Ink up our image. And then stamp that down. You're going to use four blends in total. So let me move this up. We're going to use Old Olive Light and Dark and Real Red Light and Dark. And I'm going to zoom in. So you can see the colour in. So I'm going to start with... Old Olive Light and I'm going to go in and colour in the leaf like so. And might as well do this one at the same time, why not? If you go out the lines, do not concern yourself because we're going to be cutting it along the line shortly. Okay, so that's Old Olive Light done. And then I'm going to bring in Old Olive Dark. And I'm just going to go around the berry. So the berries are causing shadow. Like that. So the berry is causing shadow. Like so, and then it's going to be dark down here. Yeah, 
and then we just need to blend that out by using old olive light once again starting over that area then bringing that out like so and on this one starting on the old olive dark and then blending that out and going all over i leave again so you get a nice blend you can't really see that but hey ho so now onto the berries i'm using real red light to start with i was a little bit concerned i was like oh it's quite bright and um a luminous or at least it comes across that way how does it come across there sure. that's not a very good image is it probably because i'm zoomed in 4.3 oh well and then with the berries just to create them round i'm just going to curve one end like so here and then here like that can you see that you can and then just blend that out again by going over with the light okay easy peasy lemon sweetie i love our blends they're just amazing and to get light and dark of every color is just super useful so once you've got that far, you're going to want to cut that out. And I cut mine out on the line um, because no one wants to see me sit there and cut through three of these and colour three of them. I've already gone ahead and done it because I thought, so boring you guys anymore with my voice. Uh, so on one, you're just going to want to pop a dimensional on the back. I've accidentally picked up two. Still had to take the back off there then this is going to pop into there like so and then i'm gonna get my snail just for ease and pop that there like so and just organizing the leaf so one two and then the third one it's just going to sit at the bottom create some interest there. I quite like it actually sticking up like that. Might have end this one. Can I? Can it wobble? Can it ever wobble? There we go. How cute does that look? And there we go. If I zoom in, you can see. Zoom a little bit more for you. And there you go. Such as fun card yes okay the little die cutting bit's a little annoying and you could always just cut out the sentiment in glimmer why didn't i think of that oh well anyway so i hope you enjoyed today's card i'm off now i hope you pop in, into the description bar below where a full list of the items used are available as well as links to my online shop for you to purchase some for yourself while you're down there like comment and subscribe to my channel and why not share to your social media so every, everybody can see so how i can't speak how fun this card is to make i'll see you around bye